Good morning. So, back on um, some gravel country roads uh, through some heavily forested areas. Um, I've been told that this whole area here is owned by an electric company. Um, I think American Electric. And that they used to wash coal out here. Um, but that they don't do that anymore because there's less demand for that. Less, less coal uh, operating electric power stations. There is a campground up on this section about 18 miles from the starting point that, uh, from today, uh, from Onion Run. And it uh, is a free campground that is maintained by American Electric. So, it's kind of interesting. So, I'm either heading there, or if it turns out to be a pretty productive day and I'm able to make it um, a little bit farther, I might go for the uh, route back to Bell Valley and just get that done tonight. Um, roughly nine o'clock tomorrow, um, I'm supposed to get picked up in Bell, Bell Valley. Um, there's a lady out of Marietta that's willing to help me out. And they're gonna take me back to the, um, the uh, middle of the Stockport uh, section that we're on now. Uh, basically that is because um, this was all loop. I think I talked about that before wilderness loop it's a loop so since we did the whole loop uh, without cutting the back part um, I'm gonna be taken back um, so that I can start heading south again on the trail That's, uh, section all the way to Val Valley would make it I believe a 27 28 mile day and then it ha um, have to get to the state park on the other side of the town um, for camping so could be worth it because the state park looks like it has more accommodations um you know kind of in general more uh um like showers and stuff like that so um you know this is the 90 degree days sometimes it's nice to just have a cool shower but we'll see um you know what we're feeling like in 18 months You know, for, for my uh, first through hike, I really wanted to, uh, you know, do something that was a little more of a road less traveled. Um, you know, most trails are roads less traveled because not everybody, you know, uh, sees the point of walking that many miles and everything like that. But just the idea of, you know, a trail that is a little less uh, traveled, um, you know, like the AT and the PCT and um, the El Camino and, you know, all those famous uh, trails. They get a lot of um, traffic. And um, the advantage of that is that there's like an entire economy of uh, restock locations and um, sometimes there's shelters, you know, very often on the trail and everything like that. And um, I thought, you know, for the challenge of my first trail, going after something that was a little less um, frequented. Um, you know, that and the Buckeye Trail, you know, I've sectioned hiked portions of it already. Just pretty familiar with it and everything like that. But the biggest, biggest, biggest problem with taking a trail that is um, less frequented is it tends to be that you are the only person that's come through that morning 
when you start out and uh, you have to deal with all the cobwebs. So th this morning and today, uh, uh, today in this, this particular section of the trail has been um, like cobwebs, um, you know, um, you know, spider webs every like uh, five feet or so. So it's been, it's been slow going just because, you know, fighting through the spider webs and um, trying to, you know, get the spider off of you, <laughs> everything like that has been slowing me a bit down a bit this morning. <laughs> 